They're root cutters. It's what they do. Now the root begins with the father. He's the one that holds the seed. He's the one that's supposed to be the outer shell protecting. Now Christ does this perfectly. The thing to note is that the mother dies for it, you see. Literally gives birth to the child, shedding blood, ripping flesh. And who thinks they can rule over God giving the mother the child? Literally, no mother put together with another mother will say that's okay. Neither will any man. She dies for it, faces death. To bring in life, she has to offer hers. Fathers then are made to secure that life, to protect it, to cover it, to keep others from coming to rob them, steal from them, take their kids, the mother's kid that dies for it. For no one else in the nation, in all of the nation, in all the world, suffers for the kid like the mother did. But men who love games and puffed up play actions, idle fig leaf cover up, will play men as though their opinion can rule over a mother. And they'll come off real strong, real manlike, like they're Christian. And they'll rise above the one act of God that was first started in that child's life. That the mother has authority. And when God comes, that is, the 500 battle ready Roman troop, literally, where Christ meets them head on, like your cops do you. For they have a band of men and from the chief priests and the judges and the Pharisees. They come. They come for your children. They come for your wives. For the kingdom of heaven is taken by force and by violence. And men do press into it. That is your wife. That is your kids. How fake men do this, playing games, is idle enchantment bewitchment. They literally do build dad, Bilzebub. Buzz, buzz, busy, busy, shit flies, Cain, Babylon. They babble on about how good they are while they do the most atrocious of things. That's why Adam was hiding with the woman, as it says in Genesis 39 through 10. Naked and I hid, so I covered up with idols. God commands them not to do this, but to stay true to their word. But the men will blame women for being women. And he'll blame kids and he'll blame God, the woman that you gave me. And God commanded them not to eat. That's the Christian that does not the commands, the adultery, the fornication, the kidnapping of your children. They're known as any Philem Nephilim. They build giants, they do slanders. Anything to rip the other person down to avoid the act that they are an adultery kidnapping kids. They are root cutters. They turn.